Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 13. Ah, oh, wait, no, this is Saturday. I was going to say it's Friday the 13th, but I'm doing it on Friday. It is the 12th, but apparently Friday the 13th is a thing. Well, today, there's no Friday the 13th. Happy Friday, everybody, or happy Saturday. Uh, let's look at today's problem. 1347, minimum number of steps to make two strings anagram. Medium problem, we've done it before, and you know what that means, at least for now. Uh, I'm going to do a premium poem afterwards, so stay tuned. Uh, well, stay tuned for the next video, because I, I separate them out. But yeah, you're given two strings of same length, S and T, and one step you can choose any character of T and replace it with another character. Return the minimum number of steps to make T an anagram of S. Alright, um... I mean, it seems pretty... I mean, I think my, okay, so kind of to go through my thought process, my first thought process is that um, the actual the actual strings don't matter directly. All you need is the frequency map, right? And once you have the frequency map, then you just kind of count the number of different uh, things, right? And that should be good enough. Uh, I, I think I think that's my first step, and I'm just trying to think about the proofs, but I, I think that should be right because basically... The idea is that um, if they're the same length, every change you make will, should, well, one is that it does nothing. But another thing it could do is to make you one step closer. And how many steps closer can you get? Well, that's just the number of different things. Um, so I think that should be good. So yeah, let's uh, let's do that. So maybe we have a get frequency thing, get freak. Um, I don't know, for some string, and then we just return uh, the frequency table. And then now we have fs, is it that? Do, 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 right? Well, maybe we could even write it directly, maybe just get frequency of t. And then we have delta, right? Uh, actually, does that work? Um, let me think real quick. Um, the reason is because it doesn't do negatives, right? I don't think so. I, or maybe I'm wrong on this. Let, let me actually point it out. I actually, this, is, this would be a good thing to learn um, if I'm going to use shortcuts. Yeah, because it doesn't... So this is going to be... Oh, no, I mean, this one maybe is fine, but... But yeah, these are the characters that are in T, not in S. But as you can see, there are no negatives, right? There's no, like, L, negative 1. And I'm trying to think whether that is good enough. Maybe that should be mm. Because for everyone missing here, I guess so. I think maybe that should be... I think that should be good, but... It's, I don't know, the symmetry thing is is always like, sometimes I have to wrap my head around it. Because there should be negative 5 on the other side, I guess they even out, so they should be okay. So then in that case, then we can actually even just do something like this, right? We just do 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 sum of uh, do 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 that values, right? Something like that. Unless it returns nothing, then this would actually give me uh, an error on the last one, I think. Yeah. That's actually... Oh no, because it returns a... Hmm. What does this return? I thought it would return an empty list, but maybe not. That's why I thought it would return an errors. Um, double check. Oh, but... Is that... Why use not... It should still return an empty list, right? Hmm. And some of this is return zero because I thought that there should be like a default thing for if the list is empty. But I'm really not sure to be honest. I don't know. Let's give it some. Maybe we get an error. Maybe not. Okay. My understanding of uh, APIs a little bit, you know, learning today. So that's good. Um, yeah. What well, I did the other one. Yeah, that's what I would have maybe done if I didn't do it this way. Um, and because you have. You know, basically this is just a collection of A minus B or whatever it is. And then we just kind of sum it all up. Um, yeah. That's pretty much what I have for this one. This is linear time. Um, alpha space where alpha is the size of the alphabet because this can only have 26 characters, right? 
um, and this as well. This is, I guess, if you want to be more precise, it'll be n plus alpha time. But that technically is um, bounded by n, right? Because you can't have a bigger, like you can't have more alpha than n. That's not what we're doing. So anyway, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. I'll do another premium problem, hopefully a little bit easier uh, after this. So yeah, subscribe, hit the like button, do all the things, and you'll see the next problem. Stay good, stay healthy to go mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.